Hey everyone, before we get into this week's video, I just want to say a big happy birthday to Mark Lester. He turns 34 today. I hope you had an awesome weekend, mate, and I know you tune in regularly. So I hope this year is your best year yet, and you had a good birthday. <laughs> All right, let's get into this week's video. Yo! I'm a bit busting to go for the surf today, Jackson. I wanted to go yesterday afternoon because it was sort of semi-pumping. And I rang Shelly on the way home. And I said, oh, you know, you can go for, go for a walk when I get home and do, do your thing. And then, do you mind if I go for a surf after work? And she goes, yeah, like really, like saying no, really. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, when you're like, should I, should I? And then I was like, probably better that I don't. Anyway, I'll go this morning. In my, wet, in my wetsuit today. All right, so Jackson, I just want to say how fabulous you are, Jackson. Thank you. You're amazing. All right, here comes some people. Let's, we better do this Monday starter before these people come. You recording, Jack? I am. Okay, let's go. Hey everyone, welcome to another Monday morning starter. All right, today, first, I think we can't shoot that way. I really wanted to shoot that way because it looks so good. Jack, pan around it's like it's like a 10 out of 10 day well every day is 10 out of 10 but today seems to be extra 10 out of 10 we've got some people coming down the path as well you want to have a look at the path have a look at the path <laughs> people coming it's um i think it's mick all right hey flo hi um <laughs> All right, here we go. So today I'm going to talk to you about how, or no, I'm going to talk to you about an example. So you know how success leaves clues. If you want to be successful, you just got to look at what other people have done before you and change it around and make it yours. But they'll show you the clues about how success comes. That's what's important about watching videos of people, listening to DVDs of people, studying people, reading books of people. That's why it's super important to study people have been, who have been where you want to go. I'll actually show you the way. So today I'm going to talk about Warren Buffett. All right, so we all know Warren Buffett, I think. You know something interesting on the side from that? Hey Mick, aside from that, everyone say hi to Mick. <laughs> Uh, see you, mate. There's a little wave out there. Yeah, I know. It should be all day. Yeah, should be fun. <clears throat> all right, so Warren Buffett, here's a little interesting thing about Warren Buffett before we get started. Warren Buffett made 99% of his wealth after the age of 55. I think there's Logan. Oh, sorry. It's a bit, it's a bit like, there's a butterfly. There's this, there's that. It's like, <laughs> let's focus and concentrate, Matt. All right, um, yeah, Warren Buffett made 99% of his wealth after the age of 55. I don't know about you, but I think that's quite amazing because sometimes you can look at these people and go, oh, life's been so like amazingly abundant for them, but you know, it's taken them a long time. So here's what I want to talk about. It wasn't actually that, it was just something else. So here's what I want to talk about, well, about Warren Buffett. Warren telling us about when he got to $200,000, so he was, his net worth was $200,000. He decided emotionally that he didn't need any more, that he was set for life. So all those years ago, when he got 200 grand net worth, he, he decided to himself that he did not need any more money. Now look how much he's got, like 36 billion or something. Here's why I'm telling you that. Your emotions are everything. Your emotions are actually telling you what's happening in your life. They're telling you where you're going and they're telling you what the path looks like moving forward. That could be a dance move. They're telling you what the path looks like moving forward. Jackson's laughing again, it's such a dad, a dad move. Um, anyway, so your emotions are telling you. 
they're everything. Warren Buffett made a decision at $200,000 that he didn't need any more money. <clears throat> that was it. He was set for life. I want you to think about the feeling of that. <clears throat> There's something about the feeling of enough. When you have the feeling of enough, your energy shifts and you get more. You get more because you're in a state of allowance. You're not actually stressfully trying to bring something into your life. You're not in that need, that desperate state of, I need it, I need it. That's actually pushing it away. So don't you find it interesting that Warren Buffett didn't need any more money at 200 grand, whatever that number is for, for you or him might be different, 200,000 bucks and then all of a sudden, not all of a sudden, but over the years, his emotional set point, his emotional place was, I don't need any more. Have you ever seen that when you don't really want something, like you don't really want this thing to come to you, whatever it is, like someone might be trying to get you to do something, you don't really want to do it and it just keeps coming to you? It just keeps coming to you? It's like, I don't really want to help those people over there or whatever, and they just keep coming to you? It's because you don't need it. So the whole reason about this video this morning is I want you to tune into your emotions. I want you to tune into how you're feeling. If you're in a state of desperate need, if you're in a state of I fear, if you're in a state, is this gonna happen for me? You're pushing it away. You're actually making the opposite outcome for yourself. When you're in a state of feeling enough, I've got enough, I've got plenty. Look at this, look at all this. What an opportunity that we have. We have such an amazing opportunity just to live life where we are. Be here on the beach. How much more do you need? Really, how much more do you need? If you've got enough food to eat, if you've got enough air to breathe, if you've got enough sunlight coming in, how much more do you need? Really, the other stuff is just stuff. Funny thing is, if you find that place of centeredness and okay and enough, more is just going to flow to you. More is just going to come because your emotional position is full and when you're full it's like when you're busy and you're in that flow and you're just going like you're on fire and things are going and more is coming to you you just can't stop it more and more and more is coming to you because your emotions are pulling it in your emotions are allowing it the universe is going to just keep giving but you've got to decide what it's going to give you it's going to give you exactly how you're feeling if you don't want to listen to me about it look at warren buffett he made a decision, 200 grand, that was enough for him. I feel content and full. He's so content and full, it just kept filling up. The universe kept giving him contentness, wealth, money, things, flow, everything, until he has so much it's just boiling over. Now he's giving billions away because he's got so much. He said money means nothing to him now. Nothing, doesn't mean anything to him. And look how much he's getting. More and more and more. This isn't about money. It's about a manifestation that reflects your emotions. I want you to master your emotions. Just like you're mastering your work, just like you're trying to master yourself, your body, whatever it may be, I want you to become a master of your emotions. Learn to live in the state of allowing. Learn to live in the state of feeling good. Joy and more will come to you. That's just how it works. The, the world is one big mirror. It's just mirroring how you feel. If you want your life to become Joyous, feel joy. If you want your life to be full with things, wealth, toys, whatever, whatever you want it to be, feel abundant. Just learn to feel abundant. There is no scarcity. You're creating the scarcity. You're creating the stress. You're creating the outcome of your life. Learn about it, feel about it, go and do it, and your life will just keep getting better. The clues are out there. All right, Jack, I think I'm going to go for a surf. That, actually, that's why I am filming in my wetsuit today, because I'm going to go for a surf straight away. I'm actually pretty keen. It's looking good out there. I love this life. I love it. I love Jackson, and I love tuning in with you guys every week. So anyway, if you've got any other ideas you want me to do for videos, you've got any other questions, put them in the comment section underneath. Let's get into this week, everyone. And we're going to work out how to master this life. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to seeing you on the next video.